Hello everybody, Cirky here, and welcome to my test world. <laughs> I spent around 10 hours just testing one mob. Yeah, I mean, you can guess what that mob is, it's drifters. I'm gonna show you how we went about it. You can see things around me, and if we open up our map, you can see places where we tested the mobs. Yeah. I'm going to show you how we went through the process of testing and what we tested and what we didn't. And yeah, hope you enjoy that. Anyway, let's jump into it, shall we? So this is the original platform, not the one you saw in the intro. And uh, what we wanted to see here is how far away from the player will they spawn during the portal storm. And as far as my testing goes, they will sometimes spawn even further away from like the last line. And the last line is around 25 blocks, actually exactly 26 blocks away from the player. Okay, that's their spawn range. What's next? Well, you can see me breaking glass here, and that's because they, for some reason, didn't want to follow in and walk into the trap doors. Uh, which was weird behavior. But uh, yeah, I thought he couldn't just find a path, which is why I broke the glass. But that didn't seem to be the case necessarily, because they would just walk around and throw stones at me. And then they would just walk in all of a sudden. So that was really weird. Okay, let's head downstairs. So I'm gonna show you the killing room. And so what a killing room is, is basically this. Which is locked on blocks so they can't reach me. But even so, through the chisel blocks, they still could very much reach me. Yeah, the kill box also uh, had a lot of room for improvement, didn't it? What we did here is take this out and we got them to drop down here and then from over there and over here. We're merging them over here, over here, inside of there. Um, why like that? Well, because in a new patch that's gonna come out soon. Well, whatever. You can't really stop water replacing in future patches like this. That would help a lot, right? But yeah, that's not gonna be a thing that you can do in the future. So, we also have this chiseled like this. So mobs can't spawn there. Uh, if they fix that, so they can spawn in the air as well. You can also chisel up the air and close it up so it's not a small amount of space. Ideally, you would sit in here and punch them from there. Um, but yeah, and also there's trap doors here you can close if you want to harvest them. If you kill them off, you harvest them, you open up uh, for new ones. Uh, it's not ideal, it's the first thing I've built so far. But yeah, it's a version 1 and it works quite well because you can sit underground. It was to test if you can sit underground during storms. And you can and they will spawn on the surface and they will go to you. However, the waste of space is because uh, they have to walk all the way over here and that's not ideal so now we're gonna start working on version 2 okay test number 2 can they spawn on uh, flat places that you build in the air like this but will they only spawn on the ground so this is what we're testing right now Okay, test result number two, uh, not confirmed, because we don't know if the platform wasn't big enough. Oh! They do spawn in the air. Never mind, I was wrong. They do spawn in the air. So, while they can spawn, the spawn rate is way slower, or at least it seems like. I'm not sure if it's because it's not a big enough platform or something similar. I just scrapped this idea because I don't see me building something like this in my survival world. Um, especially because I play on permadeath and then if I build something up here and I drop down and die, yeah, that's not gonna be good. So, I scrapped the air idea but apparently if you want you can build something in the air and it will spawn mobs less than if you weren't so there you go all right so here we go here's another version of it 
uh, I decided to make platforms like this. So they would spawn on platforms and then they would fall and water will just push them in. They would walk to you and that would work. <laughs> that being said, they would sometimes even spawn on water. So then the platform were proven useless completely. So yeah, there you go. Um, also, sometimes they would walk opposite direction of water. I have no idea why water just wouldn't push them. So water overall is completely useless. However, what wasn't useless was this trapdoor design. So the original idea was they would walk on and then you would kill them while they're on trapdoors. You would push trapdoor down, they would fall down, you're safe to lose the corpses. So yeah, uh, you can see in the footage here that some of the drifters walk the opposite direction like I mentioned earlier, which was annoying. It really was. So overall, this design was a giant waste of time uh, because, again, it wouldn't be viable to build it in survival to take way too long and it's not very, very effective at all. So let's jump to our next design. So yeah, this is my final design. I already wasted like 10 hours. And what I ended up doing is combining the first and the second design. And as you can see, it works quite well. However, what I would change is I would, would end water at the last slab and I would end water just before the trap door because in the next patch, all the water will go through these blocks. So I'm gonna show you something cool. Um, we're gonna go in survival mode here next to the bell. And it's going to alert all the drifters and they're gonna start uh, rushing in. And this was my original plan on using this bell to make a lot of gears so I can buy all the supplies I'm missing and I can't find. Um, how would I do it? I would acquire a bell, which, yeah, they can despawn. However, if you find a place underground where they can spawn quite often and build this, uh, all you need to do is activate the bell and rush into your kill box and you'll be fine. Again, kill box works on the principle of the second one. You have trapdoor to get corpses closer to you. But here's what you would hear if you had like 5% sound, which is why we have it all, but yeah. Um, but yeah, once they're dead, you open the trap door and their corpses will slow slowly float to you, making you not take any damage while you loot them. Any other farms wouldn't make any sense, especially for temporal storm drifters. Uh, their bodies do this spawn randomly, and so that's a problem. Second problem is if you wanted to use fall damage to kill them, you would get less loot, so other farms are inferior. At the end of the day, it's just a simple kill box, and if you can utilize the bell, great for you. If you can't, it's still used for four temporal storms. That being said, <laughs> I appreciate if you dropped a like or subscribe, because that took me, just to figure this out, took me <laughs> over 10 hours or so, so yeah. I did do m more testing and if you do have any questions, let me know in comments. I just didn't mention everything I found in this video, but yeah. See you boys later. Bye-bye.